So my name is Ian Kerr. I'm the CEO of Ocean Alliance. And since 1971, Ocean Alliance has been developing benign research techniques. These are tools that, that prove you don't have to kill a whale to learn about whales. So what we're trying to do is build a cheap drone that can be used by, let's say, a seasick novice to collect data from whales. I'm Matt Rush. I just graduated from Olin College. We've been partnered with Ocean Alliance to develop a little air vehicle that can be launched from the boat as soon as the whale is on the surface, fly out to the whale, and then collect all of the blow, which isn't water, it's uh, snot, it's mucus and lung lining and all sorts of good stuff that Ocean Alliance can get stress hormones and toxins and DNA, all the, the good stuff that the scientists you know, want, want to see. Most of the work that's being done to collect stress hormones from animals actually stresses the animal. We want to collect data from animals without them knowing. And I think these new technologies can do it. We've been out in the field with Olin College. We've been down in the Gulf of Mexico, 200 miles offshore. So we, we've tested this forward, backwards, upside down. We've landed drones in the water. We've collected samples on a little sponge. We are ready to go. So one of our, our big things this trip has not just been testing snot bots. That's what we call our, our vehicles. But testing to see what would a whale experience? What is it going to feel and see and, uh, and hear? So we've developed a whale surrogate, a little catamaran. Uh, we have hydrophones, which measure sound underwater. We have anemometers, which measure wind speed, or which would then translate to force, what it would feel. Um, it has GoPro cameras to, to see what it would see. Uh, so we're trying to figure out, you know, what would a whale actually, actually see, feel, and hear? We know we can produce this whole package for around $2,850. That's including FPV, that's including the camera, so we can fly up to the whale, tilt the camera down, fly over the whale blowhole, and then collect the blow, and then fly home. When you look at a lot of the whale surveys that have been done, they use airplanes that are flying low and slow. So they're expensive, they're dangerous, and they're noisy. When people see what these drones can do at this affordable price point, it really could be like a, a tsunami of opportunity. And we need people like Ocean Alliance to be a pathfinder and be pushing these programs forward. We live on planet Ocean, not on planet Earth. So understanding what's going on in our oceans, having these animals show us the ups and downs, whether it be related to acidification or potentially climate change or pollution, they're great bio-indicator species and we have a lot to learn from them.